Hey, how's it going? So I pray that this devotional today would be a blessing to you, would be an encouragement to you, that it would strengthen you and, and draw you nearer to the Lord, uh, that you would grow in wisdom and knowledge of who God is and, and what he has to say about the topic fasting. And so that's what we're going to be discussing today is, is fasting biblical? Is fasting not biblical? Um, is it commanded by God? Is it not commanded by God? We're going to dive into the Word of God and see what the Word has to say about it to where we can get our answer from. And so while I'm talking and rambling, um, you guys can go ahead and flip to Matthew chapter 6. We'll be in there for the most part, and then we'll flip over to Joel chapter 2 uh, towards the end. But guys, again, pray that this devotional would help you, would strengthen you. And uh, this is uh, my wife and I's dog, Novak, so... He's going to be joining us today as well. And uh, if he moves, he moves. If not, no worries. <laughs> so anyways, without further ado, guys, Matthew chapter 6, verses 16 to 18 is what we'll be reading first. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad conscience, for they disfigure their faces and they may that they may appear to men to be fasting. Surely I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And then Matthew chapter 6, verse 1 says this, Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Guys, it's so important that, uh, one, we do take time and fast. It is biblical to fast. And uh, if we can take what distracts us and put that aside and put the Lord before those things. Um, guys, there is a reward. But but check this and, and hear this from what, the, what Christ is saying here. See, if you fast and you do it publicly, if you fast and you're doing it to be seen by men, that is not what is actually going to be rewarded from the Lord. Yes, it says, you will get your reward. People will see, and you'll get that type of reward uh, noticed and seen and thought of as a holy and righteous person. But your Father in heaven will not reward that. I mean, when we begin to have a heart that says, I want to fast, and I'm going to mark my face up, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna <clears throat> put an ash uh, ashes over my my head and I'm gonna let people know that I'm fasting or, or whatever it is um, that you're doing I'm gonna I'm gonna bodily injure myself um, to show that I'm fasting in public I'm gonna whip myself as some do guys we're doing that with the wrong motives the wrong intentions the wrong heart I said it like this. As believers in Christ, we must make sure that we keep away from fasting to be seen by people. We must make sure that we are not fast, fasting to be looked at or admired by man, but that we are fasting only for Christ. Those who fast to show their righteousness in front of man most certainly get their reward. As we see in the scriptures, but not from God. And when reading in God's word, we do see that although fasting is not commanded, understand that, guys, fasting is not a command by God or required. As believers in Christ, we should see the good that does come from fasting. So although, guys, it is not commanded and it is not required anymore for us to fast, there's still so much blessings that come from it. Joel chapter 2 says, Now therefore, says the Lord, turn to me with all your heart, 
with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Guys, the purpose of fasting is so simple. It's to take our eyes off of the things in this world that, that so easily entangle us and snare us up. And it's to get our eyes focused back on the one who gave us breath, who gave us these things that we can enjoy. It's to get our eyes focused on the one who saved us, who, who poured his Holy Spirit inside of us, the same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead now dwells in our bodies. The same one who opened our blind eyes and deaf ears, who took our heart of stone and turned it into a heart of flesh. The one who saved us, who called us righteous, who calls us righteous. Those who have truly put their faith in Christ and repented and turned to him. See, it's for us to take our eyes and redirect them on the Lord. And so I have to ask you, just like I asked myself while studying this devotional, what is it that is distracting you? What is it that is keeping you from seeking the Lord? What is it that's drawing you away from the Lord? What is it that you need to fast? Maybe it is television that you need to fast. And instead of watching TV before bed or watching TV during the day, uh, you know what, you, you just put that away and you take that time to seek the Lord. Or maybe it's, hey, uh, I'm on my phone too much. And you begin to put your phone away. And in that time, you say, you know what, I'm just going to open up my Bible. That's in paper in a book. Uh, it doesn't have to be on a phone. And I'm just going to read. And I'm just going to pray. Guys, maybe it's uh, food um, and you just want to fast food. People will do that. People will will fast food. Hey, I'm not going to eat food for a couple days or or maybe a week. And and that's hard. And I've, I've personally never done that. But it's like, it's hard and it's challenging. But it's like it's going it, to it gets your mind and it gets you focused back on the Lord. So whatever it is, maybe maybe it's a relationship you're in. And maybe you're investing so much time and effort into this person and it's like, oh man, I need to step back because I'm not investing this much time and effort in my own relationship with the Lord, the one who's above all things. Guys, whatever it is, I would encourage you, although you're not commanded and it's not required, it is biblical, yes. And it is such a blessing to say, hey, I want to fast this or this, or this, whatever it is. Take time today. Think about it. See what's been distracting you, what's been taking you away from your relationship with the Lord, and get your eyes redirected on Him. Pray, guys, that this this devotional would would be a blessing to you, that it would cause you to, to look at yourself, examine yourself, and say, hey, I need to fix this. And the only way to do that is by fasting. So I pray, guys, whatever it is you're fasting, maybe you want to leave a comment and say, hey, I'm I'm fasting this. I'm going to fast this this week. Go ahead and leave a comment. And and people, I pray, would be an encouragement to you and be praying for you. And, And I would love to be praying for you. My wife would love to be praying for you. And so I pray that you would see through the scriptures. We don't fast to be seen by men. We don't mark our heads with ashes and we don't whip our bodies in order for people to to see our righteousness no we fast in a private place with the lord that only me that only you and the lord know that you're doing and and there's so much blessing in that pray you have a wonderful rest of your day and that this message would be an encouragement to your soul God bless. Have a good one, guys. Until next time, fasting, biblical, yes. Commanded, no. Encouraged, yes. God bless.